We are going to pan curl the two nice uh, tuna pieces. Very nice, uh, uh, nice cutting, nice plate. And you can see the both sides. What we have done is, you know, to marinate it with the uh, garlic and salt. And so this, uh, uh, this will be ready. Or uh, this will be, these are for our dinner tonight. And we love the tuna and look at the color very nice very beautiful uh, tuna pieces here so basically what we are going to do is after uh, marinating with the garlic and pepper and the salt we are going to put it on the grill and make it for our dinner so what we have done here is you know, we put a little bit of sesame oil on the uh, pan and we are pan curling uh, the tuna right so basically what we are going to do is uh, uh, grill this uh, pan grill this fish uh, on uh, three minutes on one side then uh, two minutes on the other side so a total of five minutes because uh, it is pan well and we don't hold a very uh, reasonable thickness on this one. You don't need to overcook this one. Once you overcook this one, uh, then it will become rubber. So make sure that uh, you are not uh, overcooking this one. It's very important that uh, when you uh, uh, grill the fish, pan grill the fish, uh, that uh, you don't uh, overcook and put some little bit of oil on that, you know, a um, little bit of the top of it so that it will not uh, to prevent the, the moisture is uh, uh, releasing from the top layer through the top layer. So it's very important that you put some uh, uh, oil on the top of it so that it will be let uh, grill for a couple of minutes. Now we are going to flip the uh, tuna on the other side. So see, that's the way it is. That's the way. So now we are putting the other side also. So look, see, very, very beautiful. So on this side, you know, we are going to basically take a grill it for a uh, bank for uh, uh, two minutes. And that will be so that's a very nice uh, uh, golden crust to build up on that one. And also you can see the layers of the tuna. So that's the uh, way it's supposed to be. And you can see that the tuna size is in the spring of night. So there are little bit of the middle part so that the top of uh, meat is cooked. So, uh, yes, I think that. Hello. Um, tonight dinner is um, I have a pan curl uh, tuna fish and uh, um, air curl uh, pumpkin and the steam um, corn. So we were um, uh, pan curling the tuna flake. So you can see that you know how nicely is there. It's still juicy. So that the way when you after pan curling and take the pieces from your pan, this would be used there because that's a indication that uh, it didn't you know, dry. And the other thing is, okay, the, the pumpkin, we had a nice blue Queensland pumpkin. So we air grill it, put it in the air fryer and came out very nice. So very tasty, very colorful pumpkin. I like this, I like this pumpkin and also, look at the very nice, juicy, fresh corn. So, very nice. So, when you come to the fish, add some lime juice. The reason that why we add the lime juice is actually lift the taste of that fish. So I can show you how, see, when you cut it, it should be very easy. Easy cut, you see, very flaky, 
very nice and very nicely done. <coughs> but the lime juice or the lemon juice I added in you know, a lift up the taste of it. Always juice a lemon wedge and it will be very nice. <coughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. Appreciate your subscription. Thank you.